Hey Gemma, what are you doing? I'm drawing a family tree for my class project. Cool, can I see? Sure. Wow, is this your great grandfather? Apparently. Do you know who has an amazing family tree? Who? Jesus. Does he? Yeah. There's a whole passage in the Bible which lists his ancestors from so many generations back. Wow, so God planned Jesus' family tree way before Jesus was even born? Yeah, cool, right? Mine looks a bit boring now, right? Who am I? Do I come from greatness? Does it matter what my family name is? Do I have to be from somewhere well known? What if I'm not destined for holiness on my own? Does it matter who our ancestors were or what they did? If we don't come from a family of saints, can we still be one? Let's take a second to think about that. The 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time Destined to Holiness Every single family is different. Some are big, some are small, some live in big houses and some in small apartments. Some of us even know who our great-grandparents were and what they did. Maybe you can ask your parents about that if you don't know already. But doesn't matter what our family is like. Of course our families have great influence on us, but we should always remember that we were first and foremost created lovingly by God. God created us with the potential to be saints, because we were made in His image. So it doesn't matter if your family is big and famous, or small and humble. We all could be saints if we try. Wasn't that great? Now let's check back in to see how Gemma and Emerlyn are doing. Nathan, the father of Jacob, and Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. So that's Joseph's family. What about modern Marys? Was it just as cool? Well, both of her parents were saints. So she was destined to be holy? Well, if she was the mother of Jesus, her birth should have been well planned. So she was going to make special and holy even before she was born? Yeah. So what about us normal people? What about us? How are we going to become saints if we don't even have a special family tree? This week, we celebrated the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, where we commemorated the birth of Mother Mary. And just days before that, we had something called the annual Novena Procession at the Church of St. Alphonsus here in Singapore. It was a massive event with people from all around flocking to celebrate Our Lady and thank God for the gift of her as our mother. While she was human just like us, she was an incredibly special one because she was conceived without original sin. That means that she never did commit a sin which made her worthy of bringing Jesus into the world. While we may not be able to reach the level of our mother Mary, we can always learn from her example and ask for her intercession, just like the thousands who were at the Novena procession who have learned to rely on her for help and comfort in times of need. Okay, now back to Gemma and Emerlyn. All of us have potential to become saints. Even if we don't come from saints, it's not about who we, we come from, like our parents, our grandparents, and our great-great-grandparents. But why? Because wherever we come from, we are made by God. That's true. So God created us in His own image, right? Right, that's why any of us could be a saint. And I guess opposite is right too. We can all turn away from God. Yeah, it's all about the choices we make, not about the family we were born into. Although my family is pretty great, they are. Thanks, Emmelyn. I think I'll keep working on my family tree. Maybe someday, one of your descendants will have St. Gemma of Singapore on your family tree. <laughs> it doesn't matter what my family name is Because I was made from the greatness of God 
crafted in his loving image. Regardless of my earthly lineage. That's right. No matter what family we are born into, we were first created by God, who through His grace gives us the power to be holy. So always look to Him and our Blessed Mother to guide us and help us to be the saints we are called to be. Hope you enjoyed that adventure. See you next week. Love of God.